Tonight is April the 12th, 2019, and um, I'm going to try to do all this in one setting, and I hope this is valuable to you guys. It, it actually started with me trying to measure um, and compare sound level meters the other day, and I'm really quite surprised. I, uh, one of you suggested using the iPhone. Well, there it is. This is an iPhone 6, and uh, this is a Radio Shack. Here's a Radio Shack. Here's the iPhone 6, and here's the general radio so that I can put the best audio possible uh, from my point of view, from what the equipment that I have, I'm using, I'm using this as the recorder of uh, the, the audio for this video. And it's being fed into the camera. The camera is a little like a, a Velux Type 114, I believe it's what it's called. But anyway, I want to show you what this does and uh, hopefully not trip over anything. I've got that same speaker right there, that little Golden Voice uh, Motorola speaker. It is exactly one meter from the tips of these things to that uh, to that speaker. And I'll show you that here. We don't want to be guessing at anything. Um, I'll probably do a little bit of fumbling here. I hope I don't knock something off. Here's a meter stick. I put that right there on the speaker. You can see the front of it's right there at the, at the iPhone. So we're one meter away. I'm not putting one watt into it. Uh, that would I'd have to have an amplifier. To, it, it would get a whole lot more complicated. But here's something I think is going to really surprise you. Let's start out with a with a kilohertz. Right here we'll just crank it up. I won't be talking too much. I'll have to point it out and then quit talking. This one's on the 70 uh, dB scale. So 70 dB is right there. 80 would be there. 60 would be minus 10. These are direct reading. And I'll quit talking and let's look at them. 72. 72. I would call that 71. And that's just 70. Pretty darn amazing if you ask me. Pretty amazing. <clears throat> yeah, this thing is flashing. It just means it's not recording, but it's the audio, like I say, that you're hearing that you can measure will come into here. Now, I've also got the spectrum analyzer set up. There it is right there, one kilohertz. Now this one says it's just a little bit above minus, uh, minus 60. I don't think that's really important, but it's just there. Just to show when I can't hear it that it's actually working. Okay, let's go to two kilohertz. Sixty-four, fifty-eight, and these two agree just at practically every time. Because see, this is seventy right there, so you start subtracting. It'd be sixty-five. So the little iPhone would, does an amazing job. We won't do all the frequencies. That's two. Let's go up to. Uh, so we get a change scale. So let's go up to 10 kilohertz. Um, see, that's time 10k. So that's 10 kilohertz. We can verify that because there it is, right there. And according to this one, it's it's about the same uh, volume as the other one. This one is. Well, see, there's the minus 60, and uh, there's the minus 50. It's. Uh, well, I can move that. I, I, I don't have the mouse to move it over there. So we we'll call that like minus uh, uh, 52 or so. Let's go back to one kilohertz just, just for fun. See, it's down just a little bit above. It's not quite minus 60. 
So the, so the 10 kilohertz is actually louder. Okay, and then the 10 kilohertz over here. This one says it's about 76. This is about 68. I can't do the math from the other one to this one. And the microphone we're using on the uh, spectrum analyzer is this one right here. A little audio technica mic. So we're 70 plus this, 76, 67, 10,011 hertz. So this one's pretty neat. This one, I think, fell off the edge. I don't think it counts anymore. Okay, let's go up to, uh, uh, let's see, there's 14 kilohertz. Let's make sure that we can still see it over here. We should see it pop up there. there. And according to this, it's, it's about minus 75, maybe minus 74. And those, that number over there doesn't have to relate to this at all. Seventy minus five is sixty-five. Actually, a little bit less than than uh, seventy-five. Like that's about six or so less than seventy. So it'd be like sixty-four. Same as this one. The iPhone's doing really pretty good. This one doesn't work anymore. Okay, that's uh. Then we can read the frequency right off of here on the iPhone. Fourteen kilohertz. I'm trying to give the camera plenty of time to focus. This one focuses a little slower than my other camera. Okay, fourteen. This is sixteen kilohertz. I know you guys were doing some measurements. Fifteen thousand nine hundred forty-three. It says. Okay, we're going to make this one a little more sensitive. So here's sixty, and it's about three less than sixty. So it's about 50, uh, about 50, uh, 7 or 8, 56. This one still says it's 65. That's at 15.9 kilohertz. Let's see what the relative amplitude over here is. Looks like it dropped to about... 80. So these relative numbers, if when we do the math after the video, might be worth something. Okay, that's 16. There's 18 kilohertz. It says 17.6. This one's about 56, and this one says it's about 64, 56, and 64. And we'll do the last one, 20 kilohertz. Now they're agreeing again. 50's right there. So they agree up there at 20 kilohertz. 
We're usually pegging that guy, aren't we? This little thing's pretty amazing, if you ask me. Yeah, the poor little radio shack's kind of worthless. This thing's supposed to be good from 20 to uh, 20 kilohertz. So what I'm uh, putting over the air should be real. And here's its relative uh, amplitude over here. About minus 90. Now I'm going to turn the volume all the way down just to make sure we're actually recording something. See there? So it's there. It is definitely there. And these little meters are uh, quite impressive. Overall, I, I, uh, I have more confidence in the, in the old GR, even as old as it is. But the little uh, app for the iPhone is uh, pretty darn good. And uh, you guys, if, uh, if, you, if you do any kind of measurements, you might be able to uh, tell something about uh, this guy right here. It's called a Zoom H4N Pro. It's got ports down here in the bottom for uh, XLR and a quarter inch and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I found it to be actually quite nice. So, there you go. There's the 60-year-old uh, Motorola Golden Voice speaker able to reproduce 20 kilohertz uh, better than I ever thought it could. I just didn't think it could do it. I know we didn't test it at anything less than a kilohertz, but uh, anyway, for what it's worth, uh, there it is. Thanks for watching.